go to church about every day. They have a special. They wear special kinds of clothes. Some of the people wear a black outfit with some weight on their collar, and they have this white big black hat. And they and some of them have glasses on and have little curls down going from their head. And they have ponytails, and they're men. Um, that means um, like you are um, uh, like suppose you were Jewish or Christian or Canadian or what? Um, you were um some you um re respond to holidays. You do things. You believe in Santa Claus, or you go trick or treating. <laughs> Um, Catholics one, Jewish is one, um, Muslim is one, and Buddhis Buddhism is one. It's when you believe in a god or you believe in a goddess and you hear the history of this person, like the way um, Moses led the apostles. That's easy. It's money, but it's the color. It's the color. And you can use it as like your little chips of it. You use money out of it. And um, if you find it, boy, you're rich. That stuff is, wor is worth like a hundred or a thousand buckaroos. <laughs> It's like when they're, like, um, it's pretty expensive. It's sort of a yellow color. It's yellow shiny. And it's a kind of metal. And it's pretty soft. So usually when you buy it in a ring or on a bracelet, there's, like, copper in with it. And, like, 14 carat. Um, has a certain amount of copper in it. And 18 carat doesn't have as much copper in it. And 18 carat is more expensive than 14 carat because it's more um, of the yellow shiny stuff. It's, it's um, the color it's like the color copper. It's the same color as copper almost. And it's worth a lot of money. And some people use it for rings, wear it as rings and necklaces. There's different kinds. There's 14 carat, there's 28 carat, and there's 18 carat. Something that's not real. It's it's um, you make it up in your mind. It's not real, of course. Like dragons, spirits, spooks. Well, some people believe in those, but I'm one of them that don't. <laughs> and most people think it's not true, but some of them really think it's very true. And um, and like dragons. Um, some people say they were used in the Middle Ages. They were in. They lived in the Middle Ages. They they got wiped out just like the dinosaurs. Well, when I go to bed at night, I sleep with a whole bunch of animals, and well. And I like to pretend that, um, that like I'm in the water in the ocean, and that I pretend that it's really cold out and it rains and it snows, and I have to put my animals under the cover, 
and I have to go all the way under whenever it really starts to get cold. And that's what it means. Is something we're like like if you look into the clouds or something, if you use it, you can see pictures in the clouds or like if you see smoke coming up from a big factory, you can usually see pictures in it or like something to eat or something. Or like even if you look anywhere, like you'll see like you can look at people and see funny faces on them or put, um, you can, you, you can put like animals' bodies on people, <laughs> and just, um, um, what was I going to say? And, like, you draw crazy pictures just using it, and then you show it to your family to go, what on earth is that? It usually starts in your 50s or your 60s. Um, it means you usually... If you have been married, you're usually still married. You usually already have a lot of kids, and they're usually grown up. So you're in this age, and you usually have wrinkles. And um, a lot of things have already been done. You're usually retired. And sometimes, if you're needy, you get charity. Arthritis. And well, it's a well, it's a person who is not young or not middle aged. It's it's exactly the opposite of young. Well, most most people like most people like that have to carry canes to help them walk. And I've got a great grandmother who's who's that. She's eighty three and that is very <laughs> so, and I got a great great aunt who is very she's a five. Most of them would have grey or white hair, but they just might they might dye their hair to make them look a little younger. They'd probably have their face plastered if they really hated Gaddy. <laughs> It's like, well, like getting a phone call at night, and you receive a message like, die or go on, this is a warning, and it's like, not, it's like, being told to not play baseball anymore or else you'll die for it or something like that. That's when you say something but you don't really mean it just to get them to do it. Like say you like say your mother wants you to um clean up your room, she says. If you don't do that, I won't give you ice cream for a week or I won't let you you know, watch TV for a week. So then, like, you know, you go clean up your room quickly. Okay, I'll give you 24 hours to do this, and if you don't do it, you'll be in very, very big trouble by your mother or father. Well, you go to this big place, and they have antiques and old-fashioned things, and they have glasses, they might have envelopes, they might have pictures, they might have pots and pans, they might have baskets, and, and they shout out with, they shout out words, but I don't know what they mean, and then if the per if then if they shout at the person
person's number, they could have that thing, but they, but I don't, I'm not so sure if they have to pay money. Well, this is a little funny. I'm just making this up. Um, if I hated my sister, I never would have done. Nobody would do this. You'd put you put her down on you put her on down on a little board and say ten cents for this little girl. Uh, <laughs> forty cents. Do I hear the bidding? One bid. Twenty-five cents. Ten cents. Do you want to buy this little girl? See how cute she is. <laughs> It's when like people go like, you want it for three hundred dollars. Now somebody's gonna buy it for four hundred and stuff. Okay, the bid stays at four hundred, and then the person then like they have it for like paintings and on and on best of the worst they had it for the best food basket and stuff, and they they <laughs> and they like they they see how much people are gonna pay for it and then. At the end of the thing, then the people come up and get their things, and they pay the money for it. <laughs> well, is something at some kind of stores which parents like a lot and it's something like jewelry but it's a bit bigger than jewelry and it sometimes it worth it worth it worth um it's worth a lot of money you can use this word for Old things like old furniture, old organs, old telephones, and all kinds of things that are old, old cars. And you're not really allowed to touch them unless you really buy them and know how to handle them because they might be so easy to break that they'll just snip in half as soon as you touch it. Well, it's like an old fashioned book or a piece of furniture or something like that that came from the old days and it's like it could be a chair that it has a little marks on it but it's very old uh, like when when somebody when you invited for dinner uh, the the cook you make they make a food and then and then you taste it and then you don't like it and then you and then uh you say oh i don't like this could you cook something else for me or like could you just give me the money for it and i'll just get i'll go to <laughs> a restaurant and eat something else <laughs> Someone, someone goes up to you and says like, like, hey, you got a funny, funny style of hair. And people go like, well, I wouldn't talk because you got a funny shirt. And like, and they, they get like embarrassed. And the other person feels guilty that they said something. And someone just walks away and they, and they, and they get this word like, like, it's not very funny, they say. If I call my mother a big fat slob, that's a very big If I, do you mind if I give you a You have a very long nose. <laughs> Major one every month 
minor one every 10 days. And some of his were the light bulb and the movie projector and the phonograph. And, and actually, people who make them are called <laughs> well, I can't say that, but you probably know. And I think that's that's a good definition. Like in the like in the age of cavemen and dinosaurs and stuff, they didn't have fire because nobody did it to get fire, and they like somebody did it to um, get electricity and the telephone and stuff. Like say um, you're gonna try and make something, you've got these two different kinds of potions. You pour one in, you pour another, you pour another one in like that. I've seen it done on TV. And then you can make a little soda thing and, and you pour it in with other stuff and it bubble. Well, you would have to do this to a dog. You have to do it to a tiger or else you'll get the uh, rip to shreds. Well, you like have a dog, okay? Say you have a dog, okay? You're trying to train him. Okay, so you kind of tell him to sit. You kind of like put your finger down and say sit. And if the dog sits, you've got it. Well, there are people who try to do that to lions at circuses. And, so, and it's a name of a shampoo conditioner. And, well, you're trying to, let's say you had a ferocious animal. You tried to make it not ferocious. You know, like that. Try to make it do tricks. Try to make it like you. Like that. You could say it's, in a way, it's another word for blackmail. Um, you talk someone into doing something that's not a good deal at all. Where, let's say, with my little brother when he was small, I used to say to him, David, you want this nickel? It's really big, and I'll take your dime. And um, I used to do this so that he'd give me the dime and he'd take the, um, the nickel. And so when he'd go and buy something, he'd say, here's a lot of money, I'll give this to you. And they go, it's only five cents. And he goes, but I, I gave my sister this little tiny one. And so you do this to get something that's not, it's very unfair to the person who you're doing it to. Like if your wife belonged to um, a health food organization and um, they'd go to this place and um, they'd choose who was the best out of all the people and your um, another man says, um, you make my wife be it, and I'll pay you five hundred dollars. Something offered to someone to try to make them do something that's illegal, usually, or do something they shouldn't do, and 
it's often in money, or a kid might do it to another by offering him, oh, I'll buy you 40 sodas, for example, if you will give, if you won't tell Miss Crackle that I did so and so. Somebody who's real, he's real miserable to be around and they're always complaining about stuff and they're always saying, no, I hate that, I don't want to go, and all that stuff and they're always being, they're always being real nasty to you and like you ask them real nicely if they want to go out to lunch or something or just to be nice to them and they go, no. It's when somebody is really mean and they don't like be nice to you. For example, sometimes my dad is it. He always blames me for everything and my mom. It's a, it's somebody who um. It's like Oscar and uh, like on Sesame Street and he's um he's um he's he's like mean and he doesn't want to do things Well, you could put it in coffee. It's in a lot, a lot of food, and you and it's sweet. And it's bad for you. Could get cavity from it. Well, this word means that my aunt and uncle had this because they were married 25 years, and my grandparents had one because they were married 50 years and we made a whole surprise one, surprise party for it. And there's a silver one and a gold one. It's a kind of transportation that was used many years ago in the western part of the United States of America and Canada and sometimes in Spain. It was, and it was pulled by horses with four wheels, and it, it was used to carry people from one place to another. It was sort of like a carriage. Well, maybe sometimes your grandpa or your uncle will smoke it. It's bigger than a cigarette, and it's green, or no, green, like sort of brownish green, and and it, it sort of smells like a cigarette and it's uh, and it's longer than a cigarette and it's wider than a cigarette. Well, it's something you could cover yourself with and it keeps you warm at night. something in your mouth and you you grow it if one falls out another comes in and you could brush them and it keeps them from rotting and getting tooth aches and, and cavities
after you go to in the middle of the summer, you have fun, you play games, and you ride horses, and go roller skating, and you sign up for things. It's an animal that's in the desert that uh, people put stuff on that, to carry it uh, across the desert. And it's a tall animal. It has a hump on its back. If you're going on a long trip and you don't really know um, if you're going west or north or east, you have something that tells you which way you're going. Something that rings, something that cows wear around their neck so people can find them when they're lost. This means something that a baby would wear around his neck while he's eating food to make sure he doesn't get it all over his shirt or his pajamas or his face or something like that. If you're in college and you pass, they give you a sheet of paper that says you pass college and then if you were saying to be a nurse, they'd see that and say you could be a nurse or a doctor or whatever it is you were studying for. Well, it's inside the engine of a car, any kind of car, and it's the machine inside the engine that makes the gas work as fuel. It burns the gas. And it's and it sort of looks and well it's got sort of a funnel at the beginning and it looks like a radiator in the middle and at the end there's a little tube. So overall it's just a little box that looks like that. It's a metal tube that was used in wars to fire large pieces of metal that could blow up anything or anyone that they, that they wanted to blow up or kill. Um, this is something that rich people can live in. It's like a mansion. It is big and tall. It is usually found on the top of a hill. It's what kings live in. Queen Elizabeth lives in one of them. It's an occupation. They, um, sometimes, sometimes they're nice, sometimes they're mean. Um, it's, they just like um, fill your teeth in, like they take care of your teeth and you sh sh then um, people see it very often. They should see it once a year. It's like a big sea and sometimes it has big waves, sometimes it has small waves. And uh, it has seashells. You could it has sand, so you could play with it. And sometimes there's a crab in there. And it's and sometimes, well, always there's the light flashes when it's going. And it and the, um and it's really loud and it. And when it goes off, the light, the um, light on the fire truck and the um, the police car um, flashes on and off, like goes around in circles. It's it's big and 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 you 
eat it on um, a, a birthday or a special time, and and it and it's and it's sweet, and sometimes it has candles, and it's got sometimes it's got like candies on. This word is like when someone has a cold, they do this word and they sneeze and it's sort of like sneezing and sometimes it makes sort of a scratchy noise and it comes up through your neck out from your mouth. It's a, um, it's a, like when the Indians try to fight them. He, he's a good person. He has a white hat, probably, um, white clothing, sometimes really guns and horses. Like the Indians don't have guns. It's some. It's a animal that it's sometimes yellow and black, and it has wings, and it flies around and gets honey from flowers, and it'll sting you. It, it's usually made of twigs and any. They they can bring string and they even bring paper sometimes and put it in there. And it's like, it's a bird's home. It's like, say you want to put somebody in your power. You have a magic book. You can like go, you're in my power. You can get one of those kind of watches and swing it across their eyes and like, you're in my power and you say that. That's what, and you can like get them in your power. That's what it is. He was the person who found and found out America. He hit America on trying to go find the Indies. Um, something inside the skull, which is one of the two important body, two important um parts of your body. As I said, it is located inside the skull and there are about two or three parts of it. It is connected to the um, the spine and is thus connected to the nervous system. Is something that is in apartment building sometimes and what you do is you press the button and you wait a little while sometimes the door just opens right when you press the button and you walk in and if you press the button that has the triangle pointing down then you go down and if you press the button with the triangle pointing up then you go up. It's something you read, and you can learn from it, and uh, you could take it from the library, read it, give it back to the library, and you can keep reading it over and over again. This word is something that a baby sleeps in. It has bars on the long sides. It's like a rectangle. And it's flat on the short sides. And on the short sides, it usually has a kind of pattern on the top. Something that crawls around on the ground lives in a shell that sort of shaped like ground. It's very, it has a shell that is round. 
and it lives inside that shell and it pops its head out to move or wander around. It's like, um, say you have some sheets that you have to do and you have to fill in. So you get it and you like, there's lots of buttons like A, B, C, D, it's got the alphabet, it's got um, lots of kinds of stuff, it's got um, pluses and stuff, and you can do it and you can fill in your paper with it. It's got this um, ink that's on all the letters and it puts, and it's like, puts letter on. It like, say, there's different kinds of them. There's all different kinds of them. My grandma has one with this big round thing. It's got all the letters and all the stuff on it, and then it turn and stamp it on. This word is something you can listen to on a stereo. And it has, some of them have music and some of them have exercises. And they're round. And in the middle, there's a little hole. And around the hole, it's usually a color, like black or red. And it tells the company that it's made by. It's like the person who does all the things for the boss, like, well, you know, she calls him in, like, says, somebody's here to see you, or she says, you know, like, write this down and put it and do the work for me, like that. It means, like, it's it's like a drink that grown-ups drink. And, um, most, of, most bars sell them. Um, sometimes, sometimes in baseball games, they have, they have it, and it's like light brown, not too, not too dark. Most, most, most of the time when you pour it, it bubbles up, and, and most of it comes in cans. Um, this is um, a place where they serve, serve such foods, foods as corned beef, roast beef, pastrami, salami, ham, tongue, Swiss cheese, sauerkraut, hot dogs. It's like a big mountain that has a hole in the middle, and sometimes when rocks start moving a lot, then some comes out and it's real hot and it burns down houses. There's well, there's some in Hawaii and one near Minnesota, I think, because my grand they said it on the news and lots of ashes were coming down to Minnesota. It's where people go, usually men, and and. They wear green uniforms, and you have like a sergeant, and he tells you what to do, and he'll tell you things. He'll tell you to at ease or about face, and you have to do what he tells you. Something that it tells you bad things it happen, when it happens, like someone gets kidnapped or there's been a lot of fires or about the sports, it tells you about the weather, and it's on TV. It's something that's green and says rivet, rivet, and he, he's, he, um, he's, he's in the, he stays in the water. This is 
is something that is posted up, well, like around, can be around houses to keep out dogs, around farms so people don't go butting into their pop property. It's black and gray and some kinds can make you sneeze and you put them on food.